he says all that, but then he doesn't say what we heard from Sean Spicer, the press secretary yesterday, that uh, the, the president lost confidence, lost trust in his national security advisor because he misled them on his conversations with the Russian ambassador to the United States on sanctions. He also called him a wonderful man. Now, I don't know, but if I had a spokesman, I don't, but if I had one, and I sent them out to the briefing room and, and said that there was an eroding and evolving trust factor over several weeks due to several circumstances, uh, I don't think I would go out and then be like, he's a wonderful man. I, I asked for his resignation, resignation, I got it. It makes no sense. It, it actually, here's what it makes sense. It gives us the real insight into how Donald Trump thought about this entire scenario. He didn't think what Michael Flynn did was so bad. Because what he really believes is that it got out in public, in the newspapers, and it was exposed that he was lying to Vice President Pence. And because of the exposure of that fact, he had to go. That, that is what Donald Trump showed us today, was his real thinking, which is not the thinking that his spokesman put forth yesterday in the briefing room.